Hello, and welcome back for some more Alan Wake. I am the Master Gamer, and I would a while ago I was um, playing at Skyrim, and well, I guess I could say it's the end of season one for Skyrim. Well, there was no seasons, but yeah, I don't know how to explain that. But anyway, I decided to play something else because usually I've been playing nothing but Skyrim. So, I decided to continue Alan Wake. So, yeah, let's continue. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. Hi there. I'm looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were busy. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all leg. sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. Oh my god, I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into okay. diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trails. Okay. So, uh... wrong with him? Did he mess up his leg? What's that weird noise? Hey, get better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local uh, spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Job or stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. Why do you keep call saying saying like that? Why do you keep calling it written by Cynthia Weaver? I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless. Yeah, anyway, she knew lamp both lady? Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Are we there yet? I guess that turns on the flashlight. And like I said, I don't have one. <laughs> well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. Do you mind me asking what you want with it? We're just here to talk to her, pal. All right, come on, be nice. He has a messed up leg. That? That wasn't a knock. He just pressed his fingers Welcome on Welcome to... to... Oh dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. How did he not notice that she's talking different? We're talking funny. Hey, different. this is really good. Guess I... Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need and use to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, what's it? Oh. Barry! What? Oh, what? she drugged us. Oh, throw it at her. 
let's go. Oh, you. Yeah. Hey there, beautiful. Ah! It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. That'd be really good now. You must turn the lights on. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm running faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. Okay. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. This is looking at that. This is like this is disturbing. Ah, I'm an elephant. Where's that a man? I have to admit, not bad of a room, but it looks like it's a bedroom for a five-year-old. And she has a little Alan Wake shirt. <laughs> and there is Barry. Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk uh. and sugar on the counter now. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. Have a nice day. Come back soon. You can hate. Oh, come on. That's just not nice to hate everybody you see that causes you one little problem. Well, I forget it. Another card, the Themo. Whatever. Hold on, do I have to pick him up or something? He was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> Alright. Sir, one I'm so handsome. <laughs> he talks in his sleep. And he has dreams about himself. And women, I guess. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Damn it. What have we got here? Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet and life had tried so hard to get rid of her. It wasn't any of his business what she did in the trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart ass sidekick, <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to remember the controls. Okay, I remember the controls now. Where do I go? Do I go over here? No? Hey, what's that? Outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, okay. once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF. What's on 
I don't, you know, forget it. I'm not wasting any time here. Could I just jump over that? No, because apparently he's a horrible jumper. Uh, oh, there we go. This is not good. Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. What? This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right the? where you are, Hemingway. I just want to saw a bullet hit him. Run! Grab! I wish I could have been. Oh, okay. I can't believe I missed that. I... The camera was in my way. Run! Man, this is. A tr trouble with the authorities again. What do you think I did to her? Sheesh. I'm married. What else could I have done? No, I, mean, I don't want to step too far. Stop we have the suspect in flight. <laughs> and he's just jogging. Yeah. Hey, man, script. How are these things just randomly out here? The dark presence sleeps. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory from the poet's writing and called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sea and over its sunken back and When it sensed the writer in the carry, Oh, that was, that, I have to admit, that sounds cool. The darkness is awake. I think. I would be terrified in this position. Whoa! Whoa! Godzilla, is that you? <laughs> what on earth is going on? My deputy 